Are you listening? Or to the Just Ed Show? Are you watching? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a segment we like to call The Panel. The panel consists of me and different people every week discussing recent news and events. Without further ado, please welcome today's panelists. Panelist veteran, Andrew Barrera. Thanks for having me, Justin. AKA Aladdin. Love being here. Chestnut. Oh, Taylor Moskowitz. And Ellen DeGeneres. Hey. Or Tyler Chase. Hey. Now our first subject is about the South, Arizona, rednecks, booze, shotguns. Mexicans. I'm from Arizona, Justin. Oh, then this story is for you, I forgot. <laughs> Oh, hi all our Arizonians watching right now. So anyway, <laughs> Arizona uh, recently passed an internet censorship bill and it made trolling illegal. Now for those of you who don't know, trolling is when you go on the internet message boards and you just call people names and crude remarks and whatever, just to make fun of them, just because. Cyberbullying? Yeah, it's basically cyberbullying. And um, basically it's supported by the government workers who don't, understand how the internet works. Now, you can be charged with a class one misdemeanor, which is a $2,500 fine, or, and or a six month jail time. Do you think this is right if you, you know, if you're caught trolling in the land of Arizona or, you know, cyberbullying, you can be charged with a class one misdemeanor. Do you think it's right? No. How do they know it's in Arizona? Well, if you're on Facebook, you know, and you live in oh. Arizona, <laughs> You know what I mean? I think it's good in some areas, you know, like, if you, if there's constant cyberbullying to one person, maybe yes, but like, you know, if, if it's happening like once in a while, maybe not. But if, it's constant, if it's happening constantly, yes. But I, I don't think it's right, because I think the government's getting too much in our privacy, so it's they're kind of like invading it's our privacy. I know it's like not right to be trolling or cyberbullying, but... <laughs> For the government to go in and regulate and decide, like, oh, you're going to get fined because you're a bully, it's not. Now, do you think uh, this violates our free speech and the Constitution? Yes. Yeah. yeah. a little bit, yeah. I mean, obviously, bullying isn't right, and it's not something people should say, but it's not the government's place to step in and in my in jail. In my opinion, like, bullying and cyberbullying, I mean, it's been going on for as long as humans have been around, so I don't think, well, not cyberbullying, but bullying itself, so... I mean, if they haven't stopped it by now, when are they ever going to stop it? So, by invading our privacy is their only outlet to try to stop it. But it's a bit intense, you know. It is. It is. Killing themselves. Well, it's yeah. Let's go there. Yeah, like when you get like terrible messages like every day, yeah, I can see why like they would you know put something like this. But, okay, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do get it every day, but. <laughs> oh, lad, I'm just joking. But uh, yeah, like. You know, like if you get it constantly and you, you know, get bullied every day, then I can see why they have this act and, you know, try to see into people's lives, like, you know, where certain things are getting so extreme that they have to give them a fine. I can so, definitely see where it's coming from, but I don't think, I, I think they're pushing it to an extent that they shouldn't be. Good. That's pretty good. Moving on to our next story. Okay. Um, good. <laughs> Uh, Athene, who is a huge uh, video game person in the industry, who live streams, you know, video games, World of Warcraft, League of Legends, all that kind of crap. Awesome. Um, awesome. He's a huge philanthropist on the internet. Um, he raises a lot of money through his live stream um, <coughs> because people get paid to um, to stream them playing video yeah. games over the internet. And all the revenue that he makes from that live stream all goes to charity. Yeah. Now, we recently started a, a project called ShareCraft 2012. And the goal for this is to raise $1 million in 100 days. And all this money is going to help the famine relief in Africa. Uh, and, and the group that this money is going towards is Save the Children. Now, do you think um, you, you know people like Athene are making a huge impact on, um, on causes like hunger in Africa yeah I feel like they're trying to do the best they can mm -hmm. but like so. it's, a, it's a big it's a big uh, <coughs> disaster that's going on over there so they're I think to do it, the best they can no quite is, is it through like the money that they raise with them videotaping them playing video games yeah yeah and you can donate to too and you can donate too. Well, I think <coughs> like for a lot of people always say that video games like a waste of time and everything so it kind of puts like a good use to playing video games yeah. or something it kind of is like giving it a reason so I mean to take something that doesn't have any meaning into make meaning out of it and 
for a good cause. I think it's pretty, yeah, pretty it's like, awesome. like powerful, yeah. impressive. I think it's an awesome <laughs> <laughs> campaign because any way to reach out to all types of groups or you know different people out there just to spread the word between as many people as you can. Mm. So that's a really good. And plus, idea. it's like a big booming industry, so they make yeah. money like constantly. So they need to do you know something with all the money that they have. I think so. it's very creative. Yeah, like it's hard to come up with concepts to try to like. Yeah. Do fundraising and stuff, and yeah. do it through video games. I think it's pretty smart. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. It's a cool guy. I'm impressed. I am cool. He's yeah. trying to help out those needy, needy people. Right? Uh, are you gonna go give, watch give it? Two thumbs up. Are you gonna go watch <laughs> the team when you get home? Are you gonna watch it? No. You know, raid on World of Warcraft. I mean, I think it's. I'd be, I think it'd be good for younger kids, but like you know, people like us in high school. You know, I. I well, not I, necessarily I'm, because like, there are you know, fifty-year-olds. Yeah, that's that, true. You know, like, who play WoW. Yeah, except I was number two. <laughs> <laughs> But like someone like me, I I got you know I don't care about video games anymore. So. I used to. You don't. No. Why? What happened? I don't know. It's just I'm not interested. My brain, my brain, my brain hurts. Yeah, it is. I used to be a big rock band fan. Now I play real guitar. So. I used to like shooting games. So that's a that's a story. <laughs> yeah, cool story, bro. I still kill his Iraqis. Boom. I can't play gun games. I'm not allowed to. God. <laughs> my mom oh, never. Right. Gun games. <laughs> <laughs> my mom never let me play gun games. So, yeah, so, peace and love. so getting back to this, sorry, we we like, uh, I'm kind of like steady, steady, yes. steady, and like going off the highway. Was that a car? That yes, that was a car. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, speaking of charity, with the recent you know stuff going on with Coney 2012 and all the scandals and controversy. It, anyway, um, continuing on with that. No, uh, I just think it. Um, do you, do you think all you know charity is becoming a huge part of our lives, or do you think it's just kind of a thing you hear about here and there and people really couldn't give a to you know what yeah, about it. I think it. right now because it's being talked about a lot, like a lot of kids are like, oh, posting it on their Facebooks or anything. Tweeting. It's more of like a bandwagon thing. A lot of kids are like, oh, that's yeah. cool. Like it makes me seem like I yeah. care mm -hmm. or woohoo, yeah, everyone's been, doing it. I think it's been going on for so long. Like mm -hmm. when you think about it, it's been going on for like 20 years and And then yeah. all of a sudden like, this film yeah, comes, this comes out. out then, like I think minutes. that like charity in general as of late, like I've seen it a lot more, and I think it's because the world we live in, like when you find out that they signed a new quarterback for a team getting $50 million for it, we know how much people have all this money. So I think the younger generation is saying to the older generation, you need to send the money to charity. So I think that's why we're doing a lot more of it now. So I don't think it's just like a fad. I think it's gonna last a while. With our generation, it'll be big. It's a big global issue, but like when you think about it, even if they you know, raise so much money and they give it, they, they're, they're still not gonna stop. It's such a big, mm -hmm. It's just a big like disaster that's going on over there. Charities will never rain, so yeah, it's, it's true. important to spread it. Around. Yeah, <laughs> but you can, but yeah, you know, you can never like you know stop like you know poverty or you know. Well, yeah, like I do the March of Dimes walk for premature babies. Yeah. I mean that will never stop. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's true. I mean like the and, cancer and, stuff and you know the that. war on poverty. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah, you, you can't stop poverty. Yeah, but you can mm -hmm. decrease. But it. But you can effort. decrease it yep. exactly. And I think that with our generation when we're older, we're going to be making more money than our parents are, so I think we're going to be supporting charities a lot more when we're older, hopefully. Okay, good, good. Well, speaking of charity... Awesome. Good, good. Awesome. good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. No comments. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Aladdin. To the Arabians! No. Portuguese. <laughs> Game money. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, real-life Batman was discovered... I love this story. ...the other day. And I'm just going to give you a little background information on it. Police pulled over a car that looked sort of like the Batmobile. And the reason why they pulled it over because the license plate was being blocked by the Bat signal. He put a sticker over it. No numbers. Yeah, there were no oh numbers. So that's why he was pulled over. And uh, the police arrested him. He stepped out of the car. He was in a full Batman costume. Was it's he overweight? It's a was suit. He it's a suit. It's a suit. No, no, no. He was pretty fit. I was looking at the pictures. He was like... What do you think about it with someone in a Batman suit? Like, their belly's going... No, I actually watched the video. <laughs> are, you, are you in a no, seizure? No, it's just are funny. You? Whenever I picture like somebody trying to be Batman, some overweight guy who plays too many video games and just, you know... Like Elvis. Oh, like know. the Elvis impersonators in Las yeah, Vegas. Yeah, They're like, definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, no, I watched the video and it's like... It, he said the suit cost him like $100,000. It eight, cost so. him $3,000. Oh, 3000 No, the car cost like $100,000. No, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. But it's like a real suit. Yeah, it's legit. He, he means he sweats business. how much? Like five gallons? Yeah, like five gallons. Something. He'll, he'll never be the real Batman. 
Well, no. Batman didn't have any superpowers, my friend. So. But, but well, he had good technology, so that's what made him Batman. Okay. Anyway, yeah, okay. M- moving on, steady, steady. Um, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> the reason why he is dressed like Batman is because his job is to go to hospitals every day to see sick children mm-hmm. and to you know cheer them up. And these yeah, are yeah, deathly yeah. ill children. And uh, he spends annually about fifteen thousand dollars on gifts for these children. So do you think this is this is a good cause? Yeah. Do you think um, it's putting Definitely. putting something like kind of violent to use for charity? Well, like he was saying, because I was watching the video and the guy was saying, because um, Batman didn't have any superpowers, everyone can be Batman if they wanted to, and it's kind of showing like the little kids like he's giving back to them because he, like he was telling one girl like she was his hero and he wasn't. It's kind of like showing like anyone can be a superhero, but like the kids in the hospital is like really the kids who fight every single day for yeah. their lives. So. I mean, so, dude, like, it was pretty emotional for me to watch because like, a simple thing like that, man, and cheering these kids up, he does it every day. It's pretty cool. And he spent a lot of money doing yeah. it. So. Yep. so our next story, we're going to talk about Titanic 3D. We'll be yeah! yeah! <laughs> I just had to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Aladdin. <laughs> anyway, steady, <laughs> steady. Um, so Titanic 3D. Came out this week. Oh, today! Today! Comes today. Out today. Oh, today. today! Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to make the table. Oh, oh, um, God. oh my God. Oh, okay. Oh. Right, so, we're going to skip him because he's very okay. anti- so, so excited, Justin. So, okay. so excited. Let's, let's contain our excitement for a sorry. second. Let's go with the girl. <laughs> Ready? Okay. So <laughs> it's it's open today. It's already yeah. made millions of dollars. Yeah. James Cameron is probably having million. a solid gold bath right now as we speak. Probably not. What do you think? What do you think about the Titanic re-release of 3D? Do you think it's it's Amazing. just for money? Do you think it's it's just you know? Uh, good to, I have some topics. I'm going uh, first. Yes, Tyler. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's go. Shh, chestnut, please. Chestnut. No. So, okay, Ellen. Um, a few things. I'm thinking of why he is doing it. Money, yes, but. A lot of people don't know, April 14th of this year is actually the 100th anniversary of the Titanic sinking, like the actual boat. So he did say he's doing it for April that reason. April 12th, actually, Tyler. No, it actually sunk in the 14th. It got hit on the 12th and sunk in the 14th. So that's the day it hit the bottom of the ocean. Don't laugh, John. <laughs> I really so um, I think he's doing it for money. But the whole 3D rave is going on. And that's one of the most famous movies of all time. So I think he has to. I think he oh has to. Oh my god. It is the movie. Okay, we're gonna go to Barrera. Stop it. Ooh. It is such an amazing movie. Like, think about, I just saw oh an excerpt in this magazine, people, and it was like, what, how did Titanic change your life? And It did it, it's a yes. movie! <laughs> it is one of the most, not, of course, like, they added the whole romantic love story, and that's amazing. Yeah, like, of course. Two, two percent of it is true, and like, 98% is but it's bullshit beautiful. made it's, up. <laughs> it's, I agree with Justin. Hey, oh. okay, hang on. It's so, it's like a movie that everyone sees, and you're, <gasps> you just, you cry but when you watch it. Three hours and 15 minutes I let go. Long. They're not I forcing did let you go. to go oh see my it. God. I have to say that this movie... It's a very good storyline, very great concept, very good special effect. Like all around, oh, it'll be good. amazing in three. It's yeah, too yeah. long. I, I can say that, but seriously, going to the theaters, twenty dollars because the ticket prices are increasing. Because it's three D. Because it's three D now. But you don't get then, keep you know get in, get in like you know food. You know when you go to the movie theater. Eight dollars for a small yeah. Just sneak it in. It's almost twenty twenty five dollars when you think about it. So. I believe that for a movie that's already on DVD for ten dollars, not even ten dollars. This movie is a very good movie, but the three D annoys me because I don't want to sit there with a pair of glasses. But seeing the Titanic sink like right in front of your eyes in three D, like it's right in front of you. (laughs) Wait, wait, what is it? When they're when they're on the boat holding each other and he holds her and they're gonna be three, it's right in front of your eyes. You're just gonna see a Leonardo right in front of your eyes. (laughs) Don't let go. You'll be dying with happiness. No. You're gonna be I so really, excited. the only so, thing I want to happen is him sinks in the bottom of the motion 3D. It's, it's one of the only movies go. I know the ending. Everybody dies in the end. Oh. Boom. Not okay, everybody. Lives. Not everybody. About three she hundred to four people no, live. She dies in the end. Remember, she's uh, you know, she's an old she's, lady. She dies. She dies. Old old age. She's still dying. Oh, if we make a movie called like Andrew Barrera, you're gonna die in the end. <laughs> Predicted that one too. So. So speaking, you mentioned three D being flashbang and all this. There's I don't this, like it. This past year and you know last year, 
There's just so many movies that are being re-released in 3D. Yeah, you got Star Wars. Do you, do you think it's a phase? Do you think it's just a cash oh, cow? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This, this isn't going to yeah. be here in like 10 years? I would no. disagree with that. Well, there'll be something more. I think more. in five years, exactly, something more like holographic or something like that. But I think in five years, normal TVs won't exist anymore. Everyone's going to be buying just 3D TVs, like selling normal TVs when it yeah, exists. Yeah, that's true. Everyone's going to buy 3D TVs. Every movie that comes out will only be made in 3D because 2D won't be worth anything, you know? And it's that's the new thing, like technology. I don't like thing. it. Like smartphones I've, are the new thing. 3D is the new thing. I feel like, like 3D should only be certain in some movies, you know? Avatar. Like Avatar, oh my god, yeah. one of the best 3D experiences I've ever seen. Yes. But then you have some movies which tanked in 3D, like uh, <laughs> Jaws. Star Wars, the new, one, the old one. Was it bad? Uh, yeah, I heard it was terrible. It's one of the worst Star it. Wars ever. But uh, your yeah, I can you know I can name I can't name them off the top of my head right now, but if you I can't name, but I can't name them. Toy Story 3D. <laughs> I've never seen. No, nope, it was Toy Story 3. Was it in 3D? Yeah, three, three. Was it in 3D? Yes. Yeah, it was in 3D. That's that's pretty. But sad. I'd rather see it in 2D because I think that better. movie made me more emotional than Titanic. To be honest, I can agree with that. I cried I can twice. Agree with that. I but can agree. I can agree. <laughs> Titanic is even when the old couple dies together in their bed and he kisses and they lay together and they're just ah. Oh. Oh. But That's none of it's depressing. true. Taylor, none of it is Taylor true. has it's an so old person great. making out fetish. I, I feel like so. I feel like you know. <laughs> Damn Arizonians. I guess yeah, so yeah, yeah, after all those people's fetish. After the ending, you're just so depressed. You're like, damn, everyone dead. Everyone's dead. No, I'm like a cat to task for no. You're not. You're I not think, in love with right, you. You are depressed. <laughs> oh my my belief about the Titanic. This is what I'm gonna say. It's a good movie. The love story annoys the hell out of me. The factual parts of the movie, like the sinking of the boat, I find fascinating. When she, I don't know, I'm probably the only person who likes this, but when she <laughs> is on the Carpathian the movie, and it goes by the Statue of Liberty and she looks up, like the stuff like that, like I really respect the movie in that aspect. But when it comes to like the love story and he's changed, like Team like, Jack and Team Rose. Oh, it's so annoying. Like the overkill, the love story, it's, no it's point. The only, it's only when, when he was getting shot at by that guy. And yeah, it was yeah, just like, I know. It's, like, it's like there's stupid. an enemy stuff. Like seriously, like, it was stupid. You, it, at it, was, that point. it was just worthless. I know and how they got off the boat, back in the boat, off the boat, back in yep. the boat. Like make up your damn mind. Are you gonna go on the lifeboat or not? I no, know, we're gonna go on the door. It's won. It's won eleven Academy Awards in 1997. It's, you know, it's been, you know, people crazed over it, made $700 million in just the U.S. alone. When you think about it, a lot of people love it. That's why so many people went went to see it twice, maybe three times in theaters when it came out in 1997. Did you guys know they made a sequel? Yeah, I heard it was like... Uh, Titanic Yeah, it, No, it's like an, in, it's like an indie movie. People? No, it's an indie movie, and like they just it's did like, terrible... like. It's pretty funny. So speaking of 3D movies, you can see my buddy Aladdin here in Aladdin 3D coming out next year. <laughs> Is it really? No, no, Aladdin's no, no, coming no. out on Blu-ray like a couple, couple of months. That's only I know. <laughs> but, uh... So, we're just gonna end it. No, can I ask a question? <laughs> can I ask a question? Not, Have you guys seen 3D time, on uh, like a TV at home? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's good. Lion is it good? King. Lion King is awesome on 3D. I've seen 3D in the theaters. Dude, I have Lion King It gives King me a headache. I don't awesome. like having the glasses. Okay. Is it good? So, okay. moving on. Subway? <clears throat> to the gays! To the gays! Okay, anyway. I don't recommend Titanic, whoever's watching this. That's <laughs> pointing at I, just a number, Ira. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought you were pointing at him. Yeah, I thought you were pointing <laughs> at me point, too. I was pointing at Justin. Careful with that. Good uh, to know. You know. No, we don't know. I just wanted to thank all my panelists for joining me today. Andrew Barrera. Movie reviews, go watch them. Taylor Moskowitz. <laughs> and Tyler Chase. Of Ellen DeGeneres. No, Peace and love, Ellen. man. Peace and love, man. If you have any criticisms, if you have any comments or questions, leave a comment below. Uh, thumbs us up. Favorite the video, share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't we will me. see you next time. Don't see Don't Titanic. Me. Go see Titanic. Don't. 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 <laughs>